Happy Monday morning, everybody. Maybe you're off to a shitty start this week. Maybe you're listening to this and you're pissed off and you're frustrated and you don't even want to get out of your truck and go into the office or go to the job site today or maybe you don't want to talk to nobody. Maybe you're just in the darkness. There is nothing more blinding than the darkness. When you are depressed and anxious, it's so loud and so bright and so overwhelming inside of your head. Like the darkness blinds you. It deafens you. You know, when you're depressed and anxious, it's amazing how people out there and, and bless them, like God bless them, have, don't understand or have dealt with anxiety or depression, can't understand what you're feeling, can't understand what you're dealing with, can't understand the, the feeling of I'm about to throw up, can't understand the feeling of why can't I just quiet my mind, I can't even hear anything or focus on anything, you just stare off into the distance trying to quiet your mind and you can't which means you can't think ahead, which means you can't plan, which means you can't visualize, which means you can't even know what to do next. Darkness is blinding. Blinding in the sense of you can't see who you are, you can't see what you want, you can't see what you have, you can't see where you need to go, you can't see the next step, you can't see the meeting successfully, you can't see the employees on your team, you can't see your kids. And I'm not saying visibly. They're there, but there's no connection. There's no vision. It's just empty. And I've coached a lot of people through this. I've coached a lot of people to accomplish things and build their championship lifestyle and build the championship version of themselves and build and build and build. And I'll tell you, I've found some people in incredibly, incredibly dark places. And when you can't visualize ahead, if you can't see, you can't be, you can't have these things because it's just so deafening and blinding, one of the best things you can do is start to move away from the darkness. And what I mean by that is, Most people don't know where to go next, what to do next. And I say like, well, you know, when we get to the point where you can see there is light, you are lighter, you are happier, we can say, let's move towards that desired outcome. When you're in the darkness, you can't do that because you can't see, you can't visualize, you can't have that opportunity. So what I tell people to do is to start moving away from what creates the darkness. Somebody in the light, what would somebody in the light do? If you... Drinking, well, somebody in the light wouldn't drink, so I'm not going to drink. Moving away from what creates the darkness, you know, every time I go to that person's house, I feel anxious. Every time I call that person, every time I'm around this person, I feel that I'm going to stop doing that. That's actually what starts climbing you out of the hole the fastest, is remove the things that dig the hole deeper. Because your body's moving towards the light, but when you make decisions that go against that version of you, you dig deeper. And so it makes it really hard to dig out. And so maybe it's lack of workout, maybe it's lack of diet, maybe it's too much alcohol, maybe you're doing drugs, maybe you're smoking weed, maybe you're snorting coke, maybe you're watching porn, maybe you're cheating on your spouse, maybe you're beating your kids. These are ugly topics. This isn't fun. But the reality is all of you are dealing with something right now that's digging the hole deeper, some faster and more aggressive than others. So if you physically are incapable of seeing what's next or what you want or who you want to be, that's okay. That's real and that happens. I used to be that way. There was a season of my life when I woke up so dark, so depressed, so I would throw up every single morning because I would wake up so anxious. And so I relate to that. I understand that. I have empathy for that. What I did was start saying, what do I not need to do anymore? So I can start moving in the right direction. Stop drinking. And you got to raise your floor here. If you're drinking seven days a week, shoot for five. Don't go cold turkey. It won't work. You won't sustain it. And you'll feel like a loser because you'll go back to drinking. If you're drinking 10 drinks a day, seven days a week, if you go to five drinks a day, seven days a week, that's a move in the right direction. You will feel somewhat better. Do I want you to go to zero drinks like seven days a week? Yes, that's what the, that's the desired outcome. But I need to start getting you to move away from the decisions that are digging the hole deeper, that are creating the darkness. If you're doing drugs, stop. If you're doing coke, stop. If you're watching porn, stop. But stop trying to go from zero to 100 or 100 to zero. Don't go from like, I'm not working out to like, you know, I'm gonna go run a marathon today. That, that's not how this works is you have to create 1% improvements. You have to raise the floor of how bad you're willing to be. So if you're saying right now, Mike, I'm drinking 10 drinks a day, seven days a week. If I can get you to eight drinks a day, six days a week, that's improvement. If I can get you to five drinks, seven days a week, that's improvement. It's not the end. It's just the next step moving away from what's creating the darkness. Maybe it's cigarettes. Maybe it's porn. Maybe it's just, I'm not going to yell at my wife today. I'm not going to respond to that mistress I'm dealing with. I'm not going to hit my kids today. I'm not trying to call anybody out. I just know for a fact that darkness is blinding and it creates an inability to move towards something. So instead of trying to move towards something you don't have the ability to see right now, start moving away from who you don't want to be. 
Say, I don't want to be an alcoholic. What's the op what would the opposite of an alcoholic do right now? I don't want to be a drug addict. What would the opposite of a drug addict do right now? I don't want to be a womanizer. What would the opposite of a womanizer do right now? So th I know for a fact this is like this is gonna land with somebody. So by winning fast and winning often this week, I'm asking you to make one decision against what you've been doing, away from who you don't want to be. A little bit better. And then ideally you go from 10, 10 drinks in seven days to eight drinks in six days, to five drinks in four days, ideally working towards, I'm currently choosing to not drink. Am I saying I'm not gonna drink ever again? No, I'm not gonna make a commitment like that. I enjoy wine, I enjoy bourbon, but it's not serving me in this season right now. And so I challenge you to figure out what's something you can do this week to move away from who you don't want to be so you can get closer to the light so you can actually peer out from the bottom of that hole, peer out over the top and actually look out ahead and figure out who you do want to be. And then we can start moving directions in that. But when you're in the bottom of the hole, you do not have the ability to do that. You hear these speakers, you hear me talk about just define who you want to be and what you want to be known for and go get it. You can't do that if you are in the darkness. You got to move away from the darkness, move away from what's digging the hole deeper and say, if this is who I don't want to be, what would I look like not as that person? What would the opposite of that version of me do? Making those decisions starts getting you into the light so you can look ahead. I, I'm telling you and I'm praying for you and I love you because I've been exactly where you are. If that is you, I know exactly what you're dealing with. And there's nothing you can do to plan ahead. There's nothing you can do to see ahead. There's nothing you can do to visualize better because you are blinded by the darkness that you're in. The noise in your head is so deafening that you can't even hear anything except more noise, more darkness. But I know for a fact that you are ingesting something right now, whether audibly, visibly, into your mouth, that is stopping you from becoming the person you want to be. Move away from that and you will find the light. And this isn't some corny b I'm telling you, if you continue to make decisions that build the darkness, you will never find a way out, no matter what you hear from a motivational speaker. There is no inspiration at the bottom of the f***ing hole. Start moving away from that, and I have zero doubt, zero doubt, that you are capable of building something that will impress the hell out of you 1% at a time. 